Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soy. Today I want you want to show you a recipe. It's a copycat recipe from Swiss High Biscuit in Portland, Oregon. The dish's name is called Paprika Schnitzel. So you need some pork tenderloin. This is a half piece of the pork tenderloin. I got it from Costco. Um, you need salt, you need paprika, you need all-purpose flour, meat tenderizer, garlic butter. For the garlic butter recipe, I will provide the link in the description area. And brown gravy, white wine, um, spatzo, and sweat mushroom. So to start the cooking, you need to slice the meat into half inches a piece. So this is half and about nine medallion from this half piece of loin. This is one medallion. Here's the last pork chop that I want to show you how I prepared it. I put it in a plastic bag. First of all, I used the meat tenderized part that with the dot, pound on a couple of times, pound it hard. That's how you tenderize it. And then you use the flat part. And turn it over, do the same thing, do the dot part first. And after you tenderize the meat, by the way, this kind of meat tenderizer, don't put it in the dishwasher to wash it. You have to hand wash it. The next step is to salt, sprinkle salt, just gently sprinkle all over the top and sprinkle paprika. On both sides, because meat, you need to season them both sides. After you sprinkle salt and paprika, you put it dredge into the flour. Just all purpose flour, very simple all purpose flour. There's a no salt and pepper in the flour. And here you go. Then it's ready to cook. To cook these uh, schnitzel, you turn the stove to high heat and put a little bit cooking oil in it. Just vegetable cooking oil. And wait until it gets hot. So the oil is getting hot. You can feel it like a feet above. Turn on the exhaust fan and put a few pieces of meat in there first. showing brown you can turn around look at it and turn it if it's brown you turn it the other side and continuously cook the other side until it's done cooking okay i think both sides is turning brown so you can put them aside finish the rest of the meat so after all the meat is cooked you put some paprika in it Some 
uh, split mushroom in it. Mix the sauce with the mushroom and return the meat into the brown gravy that I cook. So cook it in the salt water for 12 minutes according to the package direction. So you just keep uh, browning the pretzel until they got some brown at the bottom. So the spetzel is ready. You can see there's a brown bit on it. So I'm ready to play the plate. So you get a big plate like these and grab a handful of noodle, put it at the bottom. Remember this has uh, garlic butter and oil on it. So to put the schnitzel on top, Put two of them for serving and put some sauce. On top. Here you go, bon appetit, and let me show you the final product. So here's the final product. Uh, the spetzel with garlic butter and oil on top with the Paprika schnitzel from Swiss hibiscus from Portland, Oregon. Bon appetit.